is strangely peaceful where she lies. A rust-encrusted tomb that remained hidden until its discovery in the fall of 1985 in an expedition led by a scientist named Robert Ballard. All throughout the Titanic expedition there were two individuals. Uh, there was the professional and there was the human. And in most cases the professional was very busy and the human just had to sit and wait. But then there were moments, uh, seeing it for the first time uh, through the porthole of the submarine or landing on the deck for the first time or all the different firsts that happened. And, uh, the human would come through whenever you gave it a chance. And certain images, uh, empty lifeboat davit, uh, the doll's head, the chandelier. Going down the grand staircase, that was my dream. That was my focus for so many years. I wanted to go inside. I, I, I not only wanted to find the Titanic, but I always wanted to go inside of it. And the landing Alvin on the entrance to the grand staircase above the elevator shaft and then sending JJ down deep inside and then moving into that room and then spotting that chandelier that was the culmination of if there was any one thing I did that really was what it was all about the Titanic has a 